Welcome to our channel, The Work of God, where we find topics of high spirituality that lead us through the paths of holiness. Jesus, I love you. Today we will talk about the very important meaning of these words. By the way, these were the last words of our beloved Pontiff, Pope Benedict XVI, before he died. Jesus, I love you. We mourn the death of one of the greatest pontiffs of the Catholic Church. And now, more than ever, we must remain in continual prayer for the fate of our Church, plagued in recent years by confusion and compromise with the world. Our Church has lost a great religious figure, a leader who loved biblical truth and respect for Catholic tradition. If anyone spiritually sustained our Church, during the years after his surprising resignation as Pope, it was Benedict XVI, who, with his prayers, maintained the help of Catholics in these last times of confusion and new doctrines against the traditional pillars of our faith. But all is not lost, because before God we still have an intercessor who will pray that Jesus promised to his Church, Matthew 28, verse 20. I will be with you until the end of time. Furthermore, these last words of Pope Benedict XVI, Jesus, I love you, are and will continue to be the words and the solid pillars that the man of faith needs in order to find holiness. For although they are a short phrase, they are the first commandment. Let us look very carefully at what they mean. Jesus, I love you. It is the same as fulfilling God's desire. Matthew 22, verse 37. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your being. Lord, I love you. In fact, John 14, verse 15. He who loves God proves his true love by loving his neighbors. Now, let us look at how Jesus himself desires this love for himself. And to confirm this, let us look at how he revealed to Sister Consolata Bertrand, a Capuchin Paul Claire nun in Turin, Italy, who lived between 1903 and 1946, a beautiful message of love that he communicated to her from his sacred heart. It is a very simple act of love which she and we too should repeat frequently. Jesus promised her that each act of love would save the soul of a sinner and that it would make reparation for a thousand blasphemies. Jesus shared this act of love with her. Jesus and Mary, I love you. Save souls. Jesus said to her, Think of me and of souls. In me, you love me. In the souls, to save them. He added, the renewal of this act must be frequent, incessant, day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. Jesus said to her, Consolata, tell the souls that I prefer an act of love to any other gift they can offer me. John 19 verse 28, I thirst for love. Now many will think, that an act of love to Jesus is only for him. And yet, in his revelation to Sister Consolata, the Blessed Virgin Mary is included. But it is that we must remember that when we love Jesus, we love Mary. Likewise, when we love Mary, we are loving Jesus too. Mary is the mother of God and of all God's children who live eternally. It would be impossible in a physical way to be repeating these words constantly. But we can do it with our spirit. We can pray in spirit and in truth, carrying with us that burning desire for the love of Jesus and the salvation of souls. And we find Jesus in the Holy Eucharist, truly present in this most holy sacrament, the food of our souls. Therefore, we must adore him constantly in our hearts after we receive him. John 4, verse 23. We find Jesus in the priesthood. Therefore, we must look beyond the physical appearance of the priests to see Jesus in them, in the sacraments of the Church, 
and in the holy priestly hands that bring the bread of life to the altar in the holy mass. Matthew 28, verse 20 Jesus is with us now and will be with us until the end of time as long as we have priests. Jesus is also found in his holy word, therefore we must love it and receive it as spiritual food. For the word of God became incarnate and became man. John 1 verse 14 We find Jesus in the most holy trinity. Therefore, we must constantly remember this mystery and adore him in the greatness of the Father, who is the divine will. In the manifestation of his most beloved Son, Jesus, who is mercy, and in the power and presence of the love of the Holy Spirit, we love Jesus enough. Hence, the commandment exhorts us to love God and our neighbor, because God is love. Jesus is love, and the perfection of love is found in the mercy that we must also have for the salvation of our neighbor. For this reason, Jesus recommended to Sister Consolata to repeat frequently and to carry that burning desire in her heart to love him and to love her neighbor promising her that each act of love would save the soul of the sinner and that it would repair a thousand blasphemies. How beautiful is love! In loving the Lord, we also love the Blessed Virgin Mary, who allowed God to incarnate His sacred humanity in her virginal womb. And in loving that sacred humanity of Christ, through bread of life in the Eucharist, through God incarnate in the Word, to God manifested in life by the Holy Spirit in our souls. We are glorifying the Most Holy Trinity and fulfilling the Divine Will. Peter 1 verse 16 Be holy as I am holy. And Matthew 5 verse 48 Be perfect as I am perfect, says the Lord. True love produces all these beauties, which are forgiveness and mercy, not only for us but also for our neighbor. Jesus taught us to pray the Our Father, Matthew 6, verses 5 to 15. And the Virgin Mary asks us in her apparitions to pray the Holy Rosary. Jesus also revealed to St. Faustina the devotion to the Divine Mercy. Therefore, let us pray that every prayer leads us to God's desire and that we love Him and our neighbor, asking for the conversion of sinners. All this is summed up in the last holy words of Pope Benedict the Sixteenth: Jesus, I love you. For at the hour of our death, we will not have time for many prayers, or even the name of Jesus alone, thought or spoken with love, is in itself a powerful prayer. Jesus, I love you. If you like this video, please give us a like. Share it on social networks, leave your comments, make it viral. It is very important. We all must learn to love God and live that love. God bless you.